If you want to learn real English, then you need to know how to use idioms. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything there is to know about idioms and how you can use them correctly. Don't worry, this video will make learning idioms a piece of cake. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more general English videos every single week. Okay, so what's an idiom? Well, an idiom is a phrase that doesn't make any sense. Not literally, anyway. Take, for example, the idiom to let the cat out of the bag. Does this phrase literally mean to free a cat that's stuck in a bag? Or does this phrase have another meaning? This phrase makes no literal sense. Its meaning is what's called figurative. To understand an idiom, you have to see past the literal meaning of the individual words to the figurative meaning. Here, to let the cat out of the bag means to reveal a secret. As in, John let the cat out of the bag, or John revealed the secret. All languages have idioms, and idioms are funny and reveal a lot about the culture of the society they come from. But not all idioms are the same. Stick around to the end of this video to learn something amazing about idioms. So where do idioms come from? All idioms have a historical beginning. They usually start with a literal meaning, but over time, the literal meaning is forgotten, so it becomes figurative. For example, to spill the beans means to ruin a surprise. Alice spilled the beans about Ben's surprise birthday party. So this idiom actually has a historical meaning. Apparently, in ancient Greece, people used to vote for politicians by putting a coloured bean in a jar. And once the jar was accidentally knocked over, spilling the beans, which ruined the surprise of who had won the election. So how do native speakers understand idioms? Native speakers understand idioms because they are taught the meaning from their parents or their friends or their teachers, or they sort of pick up the meaning of idioms over time from context. And sometimes they don't understand the meaning at all, and so they have to ask someone. So how do you understand a new idiom? Some idioms are pretty much impossible to work out because they make no literal sense at all. We'll call these opaque idioms. But then there are idioms that you can kind of work out the meaning. We'll call these transparent idioms. Here are some opaque idioms. Spill the beans means to reveal a secret. A dime a dozen means common. At the drop of a hat means immediately. Call a spade a spade means be honest. And kick the bucket means to die. There's no way in the world you can understand the meaning of these idioms from the words alone because they don't make any sense at all. Instead, you have to ask someone or look them up on the internet or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, let me show you some transparent idioms. See if you can work out the meaning of these idioms. Add fuel to the fire. What do you think this means? It means to make something worse. And you can kind of work that out from the words. What about the ball is in your court? That means it's your turn. And again, you can kind of understand that. And finally, don't rock the boat. This means don't cause problems, and you can kind of understand that too. It's kind of tricky, right? But some idioms are definitely harder to understand than others. Can you change the grammar or the words of an idiom? The answer to this question is usually not. Typically, if you change the grammar of an idiom or the words in the idiom, it will lose its meaning. Take the idiom to kick the bucket, which is a funny way to say that someone has died, as in the sentence, old Bill kicked the bucket. So is it possible to change the grammar here? No. The bucket was kicked, 
as in the passive form, doesn't work. And Bill is going to kick the bucket would also sound strange. Even saying Bill kicked a bucket doesn't work. So you can't change the grammar of an idiom. And you also can't change the words in the idiom either. Can I translate English idioms into my first language? So let's say you see or hear a new idiom in English that you don't understand. What should you do? Well, unfortunately, you can't really translate the idiom word for word into your first language because it won't capture the figurative meaning of the idiom. If you tried to translate this idiom, hit the nail on the head, word for word, from English into your first language, you would probably get very confused. Why? Because this idiom makes no literal sense. So you'll have to look up the idiom or subscribe to this YouTube channel to learn lots of wonderful new idioms. Can I use idioms from my first language when speaking English? The answer to this question is probably not. I'm sure your language has some amazing idioms and I'd love to know what they are. Please put them into the comments below. But can you translate an idiom from your first language into English? Not really, unless you're willing to explain the meaning to someone. Here are a few idioms from different languages around the world that are hilarious but don't work in English without an explanation. So from Swedish, they have an idiom that translates to there's no cow on the ice, which means there's no need to worry. And in Japanese, you can say you're wearing a cat on your head, which means you're pretending to be nice. So as an English speaker, if somebody told me that idiom, I would have no idea what it means. How many idioms does a native English speaker know? So far, we've been talking about proverbial idioms or proverb idioms, of which a native English speaker knows about 40 or 50, something like that. But now I want to tell you about a different type of idiom, a type of idiom that is far more important when learning English and far more common. Idiomatic phrases. Idiomatic phrases, which we'll talk about now, are very different from proverbial idioms. I'm sure you've seen or heard these types of idioms before. They're extremely common in English. Kind of, of course, in terms of, in fact, deal with, at all, as well, make sure, go through, come up, look for, find out, go on, as well as. Believe it or not, these phrases are idiomatic. Why? because they also don't make any literal sense. Similar to proverb idioms, like to let the cat out of the bag or hit the nail on the head, the meanings of these short phrases have to be learned because the meaning is not immediately apparent. They're also figurative. Let's take a closer look. So take the idiomatic phrase, kind of, which means somewhat, as in he's kind of tall. Or what about the idiomatic phrase deal with, which means to solve a problem, as in I need to deal with my tax. Or what about the idiomatic phrase count on, which means to rely, as in you can count on me for help. Let's take a close look at that first phrase, kind of, to see why it's actually a type of idiom. So the word kind, is either an adjective that means friendly or a noun that means a group of things. And of is a preposition that shows the relationship between two things. So these two words individually don't make any sense, but the idiomatic meaning means somewhat. So if I say she's kind of tall, for example, I'm saying that she is somewhat tall. She's a bit or a little bit tall. But you can't understand the meaning of kind of from the individual words alone. It's only when the words come together that the phrase makes figurative sense. 
So let's talk about the importance of idiomatic phrases in English. So far, we've learned that there are two types of idioms in English. You have the proverb type idioms that are funny, like kick the bucket and spill the beans. And you should definitely learn these because you can make people laugh and you can understand a lot of funny things in English. As I said, they're a great part of the culture. And as I mentioned, native English speakers know about 40, or maybe 50 of these types of idioms. But the important idioms are the idiomatic phrases, which I just showed you. These idioms are the heart of the language and there are thousands of them. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to learn all about proverb idioms and idiomatic phrases so you can sound natural in no time.